It started with just one dance. And before I knew it, <laughs> How did I get here? Well, we have read our filming in Pittsburgh, where we saw what a community that embraces people with dementia looks like. We are on the road heading to another town called Salaskuta. And we are here because we heard of this really interesting place. It's called a mother center. It's a place where you can drop off your kids at a daycare center. But not just that, you can also drop off seniors. Back in Singapore, there are a couple of groundbreaking projects that co-locate children and elder care, but they're only in their infancy. We found a place that shows the amazing potential of what these efforts can become. Come in. Please come in. For nearly 30 years, Hildegard Shoes ran elderly daycare and childcare under one roof. But the two groups only interacted occasionally. Concerned that Salskuta's growing population of seniors was getting more and more isolated, she decided to do something about it. Das heißt, wenn ich die Generationen trenne, dann äh, können die junge Generation nichts lernen, was schon in der Welt war, was äh, aufzunehmen wichtig ist. Und die ältere Generation kann es nicht weitergeben. A few months ago, Hildegard started to set time aside each day for the daycare seniors to interact with the kids from childcare. Singing traditional German folk songs is not just nostalgic for the seniors. It also helps the children to strike a rapport. Also, die Angehörigen von den Alten sind zu 100% positiv von der ersten Sekunde an, weil sie abends ihre Alten einfach fröhlicher und zufriedener, vielleicht müder, aber also überwiegend. Ne? From sharing the same floor to windows in every door and outdoor balconies, the layout encourages both generations to meet. Siglinde Markat used to play these finger games with her mother. And now, she's teaching them to her young friends. Looks like fun, so I give it a try. I knew I was coming. <laughs> There was a time when Siglinde wasn't so happy. Her brother died of cancer four years ago and she took it hard. When I alone at home sit, then I think of the past and I feel sad. And here can I can be upset and look forward. Singing and dancing and then I forget what is negative is and I can be happy and laugh. To prove that the benefits of the program are not just anecdotal, Hildegard is conducting an evidence-based study to show the effectiveness of multi-generational spaces like these. I also know many kindergartens who are doing this, like once a week visiting some elderly persons um, and singing some songs together. Kontakte können um, dadurch nicht, nicht gut aufrechterhalten werden. This is the main reason why this can work. It's, it continues every day, the contact between young and old ones. Now you may be asking, who can afford this? The good news is, childcare is free in Germany and paid for by the state. Seniors can pay for daycare with their long-term care insurance, which is compulsory in Germany. This means that seniors don't have to worry about the cost of such services. The daycare centre on the second floor is not the only place where young and old mingle. 
head down to the first floor and you'd find a games room for teenagers, a daycare room for kids, a lounge area for old folks, and this cafeteria. Anyone is welcome here, from young families, to seniors, to refugees. Some 600 visitors walk into the centre every day. The idea for this open-door model started about 40 years ago when Hildegard was a young mother of three who moved to Saskatchewa. So habe ich einfach einen Raum gemietet in einem kleinen Laden und habe jeden Tag Kaffee und Kuchen gekocht, also angeboten. Over the years, she opened the door to not just mothers, but to older folks as well. Soon, the mother center became a multi-generational house. Lonely seniors came and played with the young ones. The center inspired the German government to roll out 500 of such houses across the country. Mr. Dieter first walked through the doors of the Salskater Centre 14 years ago when he was going through a divorce. It was a difficult time for him and he sought refuge by having lunch here every day. And before he knew it, he became a volunteer. Da ich ja ein bisschen handwerklich, dann fingen die Damen an. Kannst du mal das machen? Kannst du mal das machen? Dann habe ich ein Essen ausgefahren. Four-year-old Lisa attends childcare here. She and Mr. Dieter met two years ago and immediately formed a special bond. So, haben wir das? Guck mal, hängt alles. Lisa's mom, Nicole, is a single mother of five. She started visiting the center regularly and is now a full-time staff. Von einmal die Woche ist es jetzt übergegangen in eine fünf Tage Woche, weil ähm, ja, man einfach hier seinen kompletten Tag verbringen kann. Ne? Ähm, die Kinder können nach der Schule und Kindergarten hierher kommen. Es gibt hier Mittagessen, was für uns erschwinglich ist. Wenn man das möchte, kommt man in das Haus und man ist in einer Familie. Mr. Dieter being there for her kids helps take some of the burden off her shoulders as a single mom. Ne, und na ja, gut, und dann kam eins und andere, ne? Und dann kam die Frage, was macht ihr am Wochenende? Soll ich dir mal die Jungs abnehmen? Ich fahre mit denen äh, irgendwo hin auf den Rummel oder so, ne? Dann hast du mal Zeit für dich. Das war dann einfach nach und nach, bis jetzt eben so ist, wie es ist. Es ist der Opa und er wird mit einbezogen oder andersrum und Indeed, most children seem to adore Mr. Dieter. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Warum mögt ihr denn Dieter so gerne den Opus? Weil der nett ist. Weil die uns Eis ausgibt. Ha 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 Das habe ich auch meinen Enkelkindern gesagt, wenn ihr irgendwas habt, irgendwie Sorgen habt, kommt zu mir. Ihr könnt zu jeder Zeit, ich schweige, sage ich. Bitte? Ich bin eine Pflanze? Grün, ja, 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 ja. Mist. Das habe ich aber nur gemacht, weil, damit ich neben der Tomate gut aussehe. The spirit of Hildegard's multi-generational house is simple yet beautiful. That age is never a barrier when it comes to the sharing of everyday experiences. This is also what Hildegard refers to as family by choice. There may be no blood ties, but people here can find love and purpose through each other. Ja, auch mit den Kindern. Das ist das Jung und Alt gemeinsam, gell? Man kann es gar nicht besser beschreiben, was man hier erlebt. Man findet, man, äh, man nimmt am Leben teil. Gell? Anstrengend, oder? So ein Tag hier? Äh, ist schon ein bisschen anstrengend. Ja. Ja. Aber weil es ja mit Freude verbunden ist, dann steckt mal es weg. Geht nach Hause. Bye bye.
Ja, dann soll er lieber singen. Ja, ja. 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 